the victim. Yes. You are the victor. Yes. In the name of Jesus, God forgave you. And now it's time for you to forgive yourself. I'm glad God gave me another shot to get it right. The Israelites, watch this, y'all, in the Old Testament, had another shot at getting it right. When they found themselves at a point where they had to make a crucial decision because before Brother Rashad, they made the wrong decision one too many times. Yeah. Have you been there as that? Yeah. The issue, the issue I have here in Joshua chapter 24 is the Israelites were in a position where they had to choose God for themselves. Right. That seems like a no-brainer, right? <laughs> but the problem, Reverend Pitts, I have with the text, is that God, watch this, y'all, made himself available to them on a consistent basis, but they did not make themselves available to him in return. All right. All right. Somebody right here. Don't you hate it, beloved, huh? when you always extending yourself for other folk, uh, yeah. riding them around, uh, not asking for gas money. Uh, they always calling you, uh, talking to you until your ear fall off the wall, uh, and not letting you get a word in edgewise. Uh, haven't you been there before? Huh? Yeah. You extended yourself to other people, huh? and they can impart their crusty lips to say thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what is going on in the Texas beloved, uh, explains how the leader of the people, Joshua, saw the Israelites come through so much mess before that they, he truly believed the Israelites would now worship God on their own. Mm -hmm. You know, it would, it would make me so irritated uh, if I came in here on a Sunday morning uh, after five years of pastor and, I, and the choir just sitting there talking to each other. It would make me so irritated, Sister Kayla, uh, after five years of pastor and I coming in here Sunday after Sunday uh, and the kids running around in the sanctuary. Uh, it would make me so irritated, uh, uh, my brothers and sisters, uh, if I saw the culinary ministry uh, cackling, gossiping, and being mean to folk. Uh, because after a while, uh, if they're in God's presence, uh, something got to change. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. may have started yeah. on the bad side. Yeah. You may have started out below. Uh, yeah. But if you for real about yeah. this thing, uh, after a while, uh, you're going to enter into a yeah. yeah. with thanksgiving. Uh, yeah. You're going to enter into a courts uh, with praise. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to be thankful unto him uh, and bless his name yeah. uh, and know for yourself uh, yeah. that the Lord is good. Yeah. This ain't no place yeah, yeah, yeah. My praise and worship yeah, yeah, yeah. Is yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't got time for your notes I ain't got time for your yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't got time for your gossip yeah, yeah. This thing uh, is between yeah. God and me uh, yeah. And we need to grow up uh, In the way we praise yeah. and worship uh, By now uh, yeah. We should be able to worship God uh, yeah. On our own uh, yeah. We don't need a pretty voice uh, yeah. We don't need a hymn no, uh,
the mark again. As they were getting off track, God spoke through Joshua in verses 2 through 13 and read them the resume of reminders that God was in fact with them. And because God was still with them, they needed to get right with God. Tell you to get right with God. Well, Pastor, what did he do? Well, Joshua pulled out the rap sheet to, to why they had no rhyme or reason to doubt my God. God told them, look, y'all, I took Abraham when he had nothing and led him to the other side of the Euphrates River. That's Africa, y'all. And I allowed him to have Isaac as a son. Then Isaac had Jacob and Esau. That means as Barry Abraham started out at the bottom, but now he's here. After God did that with him, he then allowed Abraham to father many nations. Keep talking, Joshua. He feel like testifying. See, then God reminded them through Joshua, the person of Moses and Aaron, leading the Israelites out of Egypt and even drowning the Egyptians in the Red Sea, their enemies who were after them. That means, beloved, their enemies were running after them, but God allowed their enemies to stumble who were in pursuit of them. Keep talking, Joshua. Then God reminded them how they were brought into the land of the Amorites. Is your Bible saying for the morning. Uh, remember, y'all, the Amorites uh, were on their way uh, to whooping your backside uh, and defeating you uh, from pillar to post, uh, but <laughs> God gave you victory uh, in front of your enemies. Uh, you were outnumbered. Uh, you were outmanned. Uh, you didn't have no weapons, uh, but God uh, still gave you victory. Uh, see, the Israelites were then reminded Asbury uh, how Balak uh, came across them, uh, arose to make war against them, uh, but God still blessed and delivered them. I just want you to know, Asbury, don't you ever get a case of, the, of spiritual amnesia and forget what God has done for you. See, then when God wasn't even finished, though, God reminded them of when they went over to the land called Jericho. Tell you the name of Jericho. See, that's when the men of Jericho fought against the Israelites. It was bad because Jericho had some help. Rashawn, Jericho, Jericho brought his boys. Uh, they called on the Amorites, uh, the Perizzites, uh, the Canaanites, uh, the Hittites, uh, the Gershites, uh, the Hivites, uh, and the Jebusites. Uh, they had all them ites uh, against God's people. Uh, but don't you know uh, the Israelites uh, had God Almighty uh, on their side uh, and God uh, delivered in the face of all the ites uh, in their lives. Uh, and if you haven't caught it yet, Asbury, uh, God was just reminding them uh, every time you thought you were going to lose, uh, every time the deck was stacked against you, uh, every time you thought you were going to get evicted, uh, every time you thought you were going to go hungry, uh, every time you thought they were going to leave you, uh, every time you thought you were going to be by yourself, uh, God still scooped in uh, and brought you out. Uh, he just had to give you the history uh, to remind you. That's why I'm preaching this morning. Because I'm telling y'all who's back on this wall. You don't know how your family gonna get fed. Uh, you don't know how you gonna make it through the week. Uh, let alone the month. Uh, and that's why uh, this history lesson uh, is brought to you today uh, by the letter D uh, and the letter R. Uh, D is for deliverer uh, and R is for redeemer. Uh, Doubt my God. Asbury. Yes. See, we got to get to 
to a point uh, where we no longer doubt God. Uh, don't you doubt God uh, in your life. Uh, if you trust him, uh, trust him and be quiet. Uh, don't say you trust him uh, and then do what you want to do. Uh, trust him uh, and believe him uh, on his word. Uh, because he promised uh, he'll never leave you uh, nor forsake you. Uh, 